language difficulties would prevent me from discussing Murakami's theory with him in depth. But in Japan, there's an array of academics and intellectuals who've written about the superflat generation. Before I meet them, I've decided to quickly acquire my own collection of Murakami artworks. You know what this is? Hi. Murakami Takashi-san's figure. Do you sell a lot of these? Ah, I'm selling. Hi. Yes. How many? A week. What do you know? How many? Hi. Murakami's enlarged toys into sculptures, and he's also shrunk his sculptures into toys. Why are they popular? The artist calls these toys the Super Flat Museum. They allow you to carry around an entire Murakami retrospective in your pocket. Perfect for my investigation into the artist's theory in the streets of Tokyo. The theory of the super flat focuses on the otaku, a widespread Japanese subculture of animation obsessives. The otaku are grown-ups, but they behave like children. They fill the pachinko halls of Japanese cities and watch anime films late into the night. And in Murakami's book of the super flat, there's an essay by this otaku theorist. Which is your favorite? はい。だからこれがのさっき言ったこの目がいっぱいあるやつですよね。日本のアニメーションとかっていうのは例えば目がすごく大きい。なんでじゃあ例えば日本のあのオタクたちっていうのは二次元のね、ああいうその普通にア